You're back to the original format of the band. That's right. As we were with Art Nouveau. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now then, how do you feel about taking over as, as, as lead singer from Limo? Or is that the case? Yes, it is. It is the case. Um, and obviously I'll have a different approach to it. I feel very excited about the new role altogether. And I've had quite a lot of backup from the lads. <laughs> right. Now then, um, the, the Big Apple is the new right. single, of course. Has that got anything to do with the trip to America? Yeah, because um, when I, I went out there a, a couple of months back to do a, a small promo visit, yes, um, and the guys were writing some music right. in London. Yeah. When I got back, Steve said to me, "This music sounds like it should be called the All American Song because it had like the big arrangement and everything." Right. So that's what we decided to do. Great, Steve. What do you think your strengths are as a band? Do you think it's performing or writing or what? I think it, it it holds in probably every department. Probably writing is one of our strongest because we've, there's like four writers in the band. There's not one person that's doing it all. So right. if someone has got a lapse, then you've got three other guys to carry it through. I think our strength. That's quite is unique, isn't it? To find everybody uh, as writers. Mm -hmm. It's marvellous. Yeah, in different degrees. I mean, we all have strengths in different departments. Stu yes. and Jez have a a very high sort of technical understanding. Right. Which. Steve and I, and me specifically, don't have any idea really? about that. Really? <laughs> right. So that's very useful. I think we'd better see The Big Apple now, the new single. And the so, The Big Apple. How was The Big Apple? Big. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could have been better weather for the shoot. We were hoping for a, a, an immaculate sunset, mm -hmm. but it didn't really happen. There was a lot of um, cloud around the day mm, we filmed. Was that weather. for the final shot? <laughs> <laughs> was that for the final shot, you mean? Yeah, and uh, yeah, right at the end, there were some yeah. helicopter shots which could have been a lot more scenically exciting, I think, if the cloud had a lifted. Mm. But we had to make the best of what we had. Was it the first time th that you'd been there? I mean, it was ever. for me. Well, really? Nick had already been before on a promotional We were really excited. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I'd love to go back. We will. We will. <laughs> you will, you will. So what's next, then, for Kajagoogoo? Uh, down to the album. We're doing um, two dates in Germany, supporting the police and a host of other oh, bands. Great such as UB40, yeah. and uh, that's our first stage presentation since the new format has right. come about. So it's a very exciting time. If you're going to be lead singer, you're going to get all the attention and things, or even more than you've been getting. How do you feel about that? Very excited about it. You can cope with the pressure, you think, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope that I'll be given the right amount of confidence to do Isn't your hair amazing? I think that's fantastic. Do you, I mean, how do you keep it like that? What happens? Uh, well, it's plaited. And right. then the bead 